I believe there are many benefits to keeping your cutting height high. My lawnmower is a Scotts Classic push reel lawnmower, which has an adjustable cutting height, using these two levers on either side. In the spring, I tend to use a cutting height of about 2 inches, but in the summer, I raise it to 3 inches, the highest cutting height possible. I believe longer grass leads to more photosynthesis and healthier plants, leading to less water, less weeds, and less fertilizer needed. Let me explain more. 1. Photosynthesis The longer grass leaves allows more surface area to, leave, to receive sunlight, leading to more photosynthesis where grass converts sunlight, water, and soil to food. More photosynthesis means healthier grass with longer leaves and deeper roots. Number two, less water. Your lawn will need less water because your deeper roots uh, will reach more water deeper in the soil. And the longer grass also shades the soil beneath the lawn from uh, the sun. Yeah. Unless the, I'm overseeding, I just rely on rain. The infrequent but, f but deeper watering sessions from rain also Smile. encourage deeper roots. Number three, less weeds. The best way to fight weeds is to have a thick, healthy lawn to crowd out weeds. This nice. means less or no need for herbicide. I do not use herbicide at all uh, because of safety. Please note, I do not consider clover a weed and actually added it to my lawn intentionally as a supplement. Number four, less fertilizer. With a thicker, healthier lawn, you'll need less fertilizer. I spread some organic fertilizer from the store once in the spring and once in the summer. Then in the fall, I spread compost on my lawn, which I harvest from my compost pile. That's it. And look how green my grass is. There are many companies out there that encourage more frequent periodic fertilizer applications because they earn money from them. Um, but too much fertilizer expense is expensive and can cause problems in water beds. There are cons to a higher cutting height. The thicker grass may look messier for some people. Thicker lawns are also more difficult to cut, especially with a push wheel lawnmower. To maintain a nice trim, you'll have to mow more frequently, like once a week for me. And clippings may be too long and lead to clumps or thatch. I know that there are a lot of people who try to emulate the look of a thin green grass of a putting surface or cut it short to maximize the time between mowings, but these can have the opposite effect. Less photosynthesis, shorter root systems, uh, thinner lawns that will need a lot more water, pesticide, and fertilizer. Also, letting the grass grow long and then cutting it short can scalp the lawn, leading to a shock and killing the plant. Here's what my lawn looks like after my mowing. Do you have any tips on the proper cutting height for lawns? Please share them in the comments. This video is part of my organic lawn care playlist, which you might enjoy. I hope you consider keeping your lawn longer and thicker, and also consider hitting the like or subscribe buttons.